What up, you guys, man? Welcome back to the channel, man. Look, as you guys been following this build, I know you guys want to see that engine build, but as you guys can see, I got my front splitter. This right here is from Extreme Online Store. This is where I get all my parts from. Anything that I need, get it from Extreme Online Store, you guys. So if you do want to have a build, they have different vehicles on there, Dodge, Ford. I believe they got Corvettes. The list is going to be right here, you guys. They have everything you need. It's a grown company, the product. Everything is sturdy. I had um, a splitter before, but it was really, really flimsy. Now, I know splitters are not supposed to be heavy and stuff like that, but this has more quality. It feels built better. It doesn't feel like, um, how can I explain it? Like, it doesn't feel like if you just drop it, it's gonna break. Like this is actually really sturdy. Like, yeah, you know, it's plastic, but there's good plastic and there's poor plastic, but EOS, they got the good stuff. So this is gonna be wrapped, you guys, in candy purple and forged to match the vehicle. So EOS, if you are watching this, this is what I'm doing. So that way it can match the vehicle. As you guys can see the build on the vehicle that I'm doing right now. So without further ado, man, if you guys are new, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for that engine build, man. It's, it's gonna be, it's a, it's a journey, but and you guys bear with me. You know, I'm coming with these videos with you guys back to back. So that being said, man, can't wait to uh, wrap this and install it, but I'm not gonna be talking too much. You guys gonna see me wrapping it and installing it. Let's get straight to it. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play toss and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. So instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you hide behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free Uh, so I got the splitter right here I'm about to go ahead and install it so if you are doing this by yourself just use this method I'm about to show you guys so that way you don't bend it or you know miss a liner or anything but if you got two people it's, it's even better I'm gonna put the car on jack stands I'm just gonna raise it up probably like just three inches just so that way I have some more room down here to work with so I can show you guys remember before you jack out the vehicle make sure you put the emergency brake on okay so if you guys do have a jack like this this method will actually kind of help you a little bit. So what I'm pretty much gonna do is I'm gonna jack this up and I'm gonna put the splitter right up underneath it to kind of snug it so that way I can screw it on better, which you guys are about to see right now. All right, you guys, so I got the splitter on. I'm about to take you guys up underneath the vehicle to show you guys that um, the way that I mounted this splitter is a little bit different. So I'm gonna show you guys. And the reason that is because once I add more power into this vehicle, I want this splitter to stay on here. A lot of wind, a lot of you know force, you want this splitter to be on there really, really good. And I'm gonna show you guys what I did and why I did it. So as you guys can see right here, I used a screw with the washer. I didn't use the, the pre-cut hole. And the reason that is because I want the screw to bite into the splitter and bite into the front bumper. And that is because that way it has more of a secure fit. Now there's nothing wrong with using this 
But if you want more of a secure fit, you know, you driving, you might be sliding your car, whatever you're doing, you want this splitter to really stay on there. And that way you wanna basically drill a screw straight through the splitter into the bumper. And pretty much what I did was I went zigzag. So I screwed one right here. As you can see, I screwed one right there. So I went back and forth. So that way it has a more of a, a secure fit and it won't go anywhere. Splitter looks, everything is lined up pretty good. All right, you guys, so look, man, glitter's on. It looks good, and to be honest with you guys, I'm actually proud of how it came out. Be honest, because a lot of people was really doubting this build, which is kind of crazy to me, but I get people stopping me all the time asking about this vehicle, man. And look, let's go ahead and turn this thing around. As you guys can see, man, look at that splitter, man, with the rods. You hear me? With the rods. Check this thing out. So that's what it looks like. The car is really dirty right now, but I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little walkthrough how it looks. You guys don't even believe how many people really just stop me like, yo, I love this purple, man. This purple looks crazy. You know what I'm saying? They saying this purple looks crazy. But look, though, <laughs> this is I got to come out of this time just to do this video for y'all, man. Let y'all see it, man. Y'all see it, man. That jump. Look, I'm proud of my work. And the reason why I left those headlights red is so that way you guys can know that this is the same vehicle. This is the same vehicle. Just step back real quick. We'll just step back. You, you tell me right now this jump don't go hard, man. You guys comment down below, man. Should I go coilovers, springs, or air suspension? I got to keep stopping because every time I'm doing a video, a car I want to make all this noise. You guys can probably hear it, but this dude was like, I don't understand these 350Zs, man. Like, y'all be flowing, y'all car don't even be going nowhere, bro. Hey, look, and you guys see, I got the stars, man. That joint right there says the life of Trey. You hear me? Y'all see it? Okay. See, I didn't fully um actually like tuck it in and all that good stuff because I got to take the rear panel off and tuck it in and all that other stuff. But I am going to be upgrading to Brembo brakes. Like, this is why I want people to understand, like, look at how this looks now. But when I put them Brembos on here, the big boy rotors and big boy brakes. All right, you guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this video, man. I hope you guys like this build. And make sure you guys stay tuned. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace. Online store, that's where I get all my parts. They got things for all models. They got... Chevrolet, Camaros, Cadillacs, Ford Mustangs, Fords, Dodge Charger, Dodge Challenger, even Teslas. Like, as you guys can see, the list goes on. So this is where I get all my parts from, from doing my build. So make sure you guys go check them out. If you have any questions, DM me on Instagram at Life of Trace Empire. Peace.